Hi everyone, welcome back to Emmy's Corner. Thank you so much for always watching and supporting, may God send you help from above in Jesus' name, Amen. In this episode, I'll be telling you some things that will happen when you begin to pray consistently. Every believer must come to this place of consistent faithful deep prayer. Prayer is so essential to the life of a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. You must pray fervently and without ceasing. Please, make sure you watch to the end and also share this video. Thank you and God bless you. It's few months to go. Three months and I'm done with being an intern in this company. My utmost desire is to be retained because the labor market is not a joke. God, I don't want to be jobless. After my internship, what next? Jehovah, my utmost desire is to be retained in this company, please grant my heart desire. And so, Father and my King, I bless your name for you the Lord that never fails. The Bible says that the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord, like the rivers of water, it turns wherever he wishes. Lord, I declare that you'll favor me in this organization. Turn the heart of everyone in charge to my favor. I shall be retained in this company in Jesus' name. With God all things are possible. Father, let everything work together for my good. Make every impossibility to be possible in my life. Go before me and make every crooked way straight. O oh Lord, you have began a good work by making me serve in this company as an intern. Give me a safe landing at the end, perform and perfect all that concerns me in Jesus' name. I take delivery by faith all the good things and loads of benefit you have kept in store for me. I shall not labor in vain, I shall eat the labor of my hands in Jesus' name. I cast all my burden and cares upon you, Father grant my heart desire. The king could not sleep, because Mordecai was about to be honored. Father, put me in the heart of my helpers, let them remember me for good in Jesus' name. Thank you Father for I know you'll do it. Thank you for answered prayers, for in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Father, my confidence is in you. I put my trust in you alone, send help my way. Make a name for yourself in my life. Father, open favorable doors unto me. Let me carry the evidence of answered prayers in Jesus' name. Father, I need a total turnaround in my life. Turn my morning into merriment. Turn my water into wine. Father, turn my prayer requests into praise reports. It's a new season filled with possibilities for me. My God has made all things new and beautiful for me. My joy has come. I am singing new songs of joy and victory. Everything is turning around for my good. I have reasons to rejoice. Hallelujah. Angel Gabriel, my daughter, Sharon has been so consistent in her request. Go and grant her heart desires. Yes, my Lord. When you pray consistently, you begin to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit with confidence and clarity. You begin to draw closer to Him, you're more familiar with the way He speaks, you're more familiar with His likes and dislikes. You draw closer to Him as a friend, guide, comforter and as a teacher. I have a feeling that today will be a good day. When you pray consistently, God's presence marks your life everywhere you go. You take the atmosphere of heaven with you, you become a carrier of the glory of God. You walk into rooms and because you carry the glory of God, favor locates you. Good morning sir. Here, is the minute for yesterday's meeting. I've also done everything that you asked me to do. Thank you so much. That reminds me, my secretary told me that you'll be through with your internship by next week. Is that right? Yes sir. Congratulations to you. For this one year, you've been so helpful. You've worked very well. I don't know, but will you like to continue working here? As a full-time staff? Oh my god. Yes sir. I'll really like to work here. It's alright. I'll put in a word for you during our board meeting. 
I hope they'll retain you because they hardly do so, here. Thank you so much, sir. This means a lot to me. For what? You're very dedicated and committed, and I hope the board members will also align. Thank you, sir. Father, let the Book of Remembrance be opened up for me today and let me be brought out of obscurity into limelight. My due season shall come speedily. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I stop the accuser of the brethren. The blood is against you and you cannot delay, frustrate or stop me today. I pray for every board member, that I will find favor before their sight. Let every decision that will be made, work for my good in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you Lord because I know that it is settled. To you be all glory, honor and adoration in Jesus' name, Amen. Are we all aware that the intern, Miss Sharon will be leaving by next week? Yes. I think we should retain her. She's very intelligent, committed and dedicated. That's a good idea, but I don't think we have that kind of resources. We shouldn't retain her. What do you mean when you say, that we don't have the resources? We need more staff strength because about two persons resigned because they're relocating abroad. She's been here for one year and we know her cape by lids. I think she's more suitable than any new person we're employing. No, please. We should go for new staffs, and why are you so concerned about her? Because she's been helpful, consistent, organized, committed and does her work on time. What if, she's just pretending? Silence please. Mr. Ken is right. She's been top notch in her duties. As the chairman of the board, I think we should employ Miss Sharon since we're planning to employ about two new workers. But sir. No but. That's final. Good evening, sir. Evening Sharon. Congratulations, you got the job. What? You mean at our organization? I am no longer an intern. Yes, you got in. It's like a promotion from an intern to a full-time staff. When you come to work by tomorrow, ensure to pick up your appointment letter from the HR. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You deserve it. See you tomorrow at work. Thank you Jesus for granting my heart desires. I can see the lines falling for me in pleasant places. Thank you Abba Father. Everybody testify you are good. You are good Jehovah, you're good. I pray for this and you heard my supplication. Thank you Jesus. There's power in praying consistently. Prayer is communicating with God and giving Him the legal right to intervene in your case. When you pray, you're hosting God in your atmosphere and every believer must come to this place of consistent faithful deep prayer. When you begin to do this, there are things that develop in you that's difficult to explain, unless you've experienced it yourself. As children of God, we are called to be a reflection of who God is. We are of God, we are His children, we belong to Him, we are citizens of heaven and as believers, when we pray consistently, we become closer to the Holy Spirit. You have an awareness of who He is, you have an awareness of His nearness, He dwells within you and changes your nature. When you begin to seek the Lord consistently, the flesh begins to lose His power in your life, those cravings for sinful things begins to weaken, your nature will be transformed to be like Him. His desires becomes your desires, God's presence marks your life everywhere you go, you become a carrier of the glory of God. Praying consistently draws you closer to God, it establishes, builds and nurtures our relationship with God. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit who would reveal spiritual things to you and guide you to live a godly life. He will become your helper, comforter, teacher and friend. Eventually, you'll start to move with confidence, because you do not just have an idea, but actually know who God is. When you begin to pray consistently, God becomes a part of your life. He's not just an idea at the back of your mind, but an actual being, your father who you involve in the most trivial matters of your life. Praying consistently helps you to hear more from God and he is able to align your actions with what you hear, just as in the case of Sharon. Praying consistently helps your faith to grow. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17, that we should pray without ceasing. 
When you pray without ceasing, you put your faith to work and it grows. Your desires will become granted because God is with you. Please, when you start praying consistently, you need to guard your heart against offense. Don't think evil about someone and don't desire evil, because your desires will come to pass. You'll notice that when you desire something and even when you're just joking about it, it manifests. So guard your heart against offense when you start praying consistently. Lastly, praying consistently will give you a heightened spiritual sensitivity. Your discernment will be sharp and you'll become aware of your environment and the people around you. God will speak to you always since His presence dwells in you and you're a carrier of His glory. Please, make sure you set aside distractions and become consistent in prayer. The fruit of the Spirit will begin to manifest in your life. You'll become transformed inwardly and outwardly, and you'll become a reflection of that heavenly light. This is what happens when we pray consistently. I pray that the Lord will help us to obey Him and hear Him. May God give us a hunger for His Word, and may the Lord help us to be consistent in prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up, share, comment, turn on the notification bell, and also subscribe to this channel. God bless and perfect all that concerns you.